Do you want to set up self roles with buttons? Today, I'll show you exactly how you can do that. The first thing you have to do is click the link at the top of the description and go to this website. After you are on the website, click invite Discohook Utilities and add the bot to your server. Then, go on to Discord and make sure the bot is added. Type slash webhook create on the typing bar. You can enter a random webhook name and click send. Now, click on the open in Discohook button. Doing this will redirect you to the Discohook website. Scroll down and click on the profile text. Here you can enter what the webhook's username should be. I'll enter a random name. Below, you can paste in an avatar URL. I will find one on Google and copy the image URL. After you get the URL, paste it here. The username and avatar should appear on the right side of your screen. If the avatar doesn't appear, just ensure you have copied the correct URL. After all that is done, again, scroll down and click on Add Embed. Over here, you can pick a toggle color. Pick any color that will suit your server. Now, I will add a title called Self Roles and an emoji. Then, add a suitable description. Scroll down. And here you can paste an image URL. I will find one on Google. Just copy and paste the image URL here. After you are done editing the webhook, click Send. Then, when you go back to Discord, it should have been sent to the server. Now what you have to do is, go to Settings and create the self roles you want. I will create only one role to show you how this works. Click Create Role and type in the role name. Choose a role color if you want. Then, Save Changes and Close Out of Settings. Now, I will show you how to add the buttons. To do that, hover over to the webhook embed you sent before and right-click. Under the Option app, click on Add Button. Over here, make your selection as Role. Then, select the role or one of the roles that you just created. Here, I will enter an emoji name. Just make sure that the emoji name is correct or else it won't work. Then, choose a style with one of the preview buttons below. After all that is done, the button should appear below the embed. Let's try it out. As you can see, it works perfectly. Before you go, I'll show you how to refresh and remove buttons. To refresh a button, go to Manage Buttons and click on Refresh Buttons. And to remove a button, again go to Manage Buttons and click Delete Buttons. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.